Hello, and welcome to Finding Nature. I am your host, Timothy Ellis. Today, we are going to walk the ARRT, the Aspit River Valley Rail Trail. Unlike the Blue Hills Reservation and Purgatory Chasm, I find this trail to be one of my favorites in Massachusetts. So sit back, relax, and let's go take a walk. The Asabit River Rail Trail, also known as the ARRT, is a nonprofit organization that was formed to create a multifunctional trail that connects Marlboro, Hudson, Stowe, Maynard, and it ends in Acton. The ARRT was formed by two Hudson residents in 1992. They envisioned a trail that would connect Marlboro, Hudson, Stowe, Maynard, and Acton. It was built along the Marlboro Branch Railroad, which was active from 1853 to 1980. It was leased by the Fitchburg in 1853 and brought outright in 1853. This branch made South Acton a major junction and service point on the Fitchburg route. A turntable and engine house existed in South Acton to service trains well into the 20th century. Passenger service from Marlboro ceased in 1932, and the section between Maynard and Hudson was abandoned in 1943. The section between Hudson saw its last passenger traffic via the Central Massachusetts Railroad in 1939, but it was not abandoned until 1980. Passenger service to Maynard via the Fitchburg Main Line in South Acton ceased in 1958. The line was formally abandoned in 1979. The ARRT was proposed in 1994 and was approved of in a public forum by the five participating towns. As of September 2005, about 5.8 miles of the trail has already been completed. 6.7 miles that is remaining is either privately owned or currently under construction. The ARRT grand opening was a huge success and was held on a very beautiful day. All the events in Marlboro and Hudson were well attended, including the used bike sale, bike parade, scavenger hunt, caboose exhibit, history talk, art fair, two musical performances, and the ribbon cutting. The Frick and Frack train ride was popular with the kids, and Mayor Dennis Hunt of Marlboro was one of the speakers at the trail dedication. Over 150 people were at the ribbon cutting. This caboose is a historic 1921 structure which was donated by the Edeville Railroad. For more than 15 years, the AART has many volunteers help out with cleaning up the trail and providing activities for the community. And now, we come to the end of our show. I'd like to thank you all for watching Finding Nature, and I'll see you next time.